Hey guys, this is Random Play 28, and welcome back to more Let's Play to the Moon. Last time we um <laughs> went uh we got further into Johnny's memories, and well, we found out about um some stuff. Honestly, it was really sweet and funny, but <laughs> that's beside the point. Anyways, in this part, we're going to dive even deeper into Johnny's memories. I know, I've said that for like past uh, three videos, but whatever. And um, hopefully we'll uh, find out more stuff. Anyways, uh, can we talk to these guys? Probably not. Yeah, we can't. Okay, let's just go. Anyways, that's a really sweet moment. And we got a memory link just for, you know, Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Wow, okay. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Too bad, because I wish she was. Receive note, Anya. Okay, uh, let's actually look at these. First of all, pick a doll. Johnny's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still laughing at this, uh, at that scene. Anyways, uh, and Anya. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Okay. There's nothing else here, so let's keep going. Is there anything else here? Oh, hello! Um, is there anything else here? I don't think there is. I think those two were just on their way to the lighthouse there. More memory links for exploring. So, what's the memento? What's the memento? And we clearly can't go to the site where the house is. And I see. Um, also, we can walk out onto the streets and no cars will run over at this time. Which, next question. How did they get here? <laughs> I mean, this is literally connected to a railroad. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the tree we crashed into, but okay. Anyways, memento! Break the thing and there. And it's a yellow rabbit. I don't know how to clear this in minimal amount of moves. Um. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to go about this. Uh, um. Three, four. I'm probably doing this way wrong. <laughs> okay, so much for, you know, uh, sheesh, I am not doing this right at all. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think. Okay, keep going. River? Hmm. Interesting. A yellow paper rabbit. 
Dear Lord, not again. That's another memento. Okay. I mean, not memento, uh, never really. I don't see anything else in this room. So I'm guessing this is their bedroom. I mean, jeez. Anyways, let's go downstairs. I really don't think there's anything in this room. So let's go downstairs and... Hey look, it's the piano. An old baby grand piano. How did the... Uh, bleh. Um, I can't talk. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. The what? Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Wow. Hmm, true. Well, that sells it. Moving pianos is a pain for in the arse for everybody. <laughs> okay. It would probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. <laughs> Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. Wow, you guys. Um, what's this? New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. You do? I don't. Anyways, let's go here. And, oh! You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Hmm. This must be when she started making them. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? Hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. Oh, no, duh. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps, who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. I don't even know what this condition is! Let's just get what we're paid for over with. I don't think it's that simple. Many long strands of orange hair. She cut her own hair? Really? And... Oh, that's the memento. Hey, River! So this is the day she started it, huh? Okay, that's it. Uh, I don't think I can talk to Johnny, so let's just break the memento. The memento. And... There. Let's see, what is it this time? Okay. Um. Well, this is not as supposed the last one, that's for sure. Um. Let's try. Um. This one. This one. And this one. Okay, that worked. And move on. Hmm. A 
this was another bag. And music's still playing. So... What happened? Well, can't really do much here, so... Let's go north. This way. Um... Well... Let's keep going up there and well anything anything at all well I don't think I can go farther that way let's go this way then Hmm. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Receive note, acrophobia. Wait, what? Hold on. I need to read this. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. <laughs> okay. That's a thing. Um, anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's go this way. Jump. Um, anything down here? No, that's the way back. Okay, uh, let's go up. Jump and hello. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not relevant now. But Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? Hockey sack? Can you throw it as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! Too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. More like definitely. Jeez. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like her long hair. Okay. It, oh, hey, Memento. Hmm. I wonder what that was about. Oh man. And I st and we still don't know what he actually told her. Exactly, I mean. But still. Nice. That was the item? I couldn't even see what it was. Um okay. Uh one two That was five years. Oh well. I probably could have just done these two, but Meh. Anyways, let's go. Activate. So, like I said, you gotta wonder what she, t what he told them. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say.
everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the same syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we are in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. So, being able to articulate is, it, it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it is not impossible to acquire a guise of, spe of social norms systematically. Hmm. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Hmm. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravely or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then, I realize it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Jeez. Huh, I never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met her. <laughs> Isn't it bleh. this isn't part of our business. Let's move. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Um I'm just gonna check real quick. Okay, uh we can go on for a bit more. Um can we talk to these guys? Probably not. Okay. Um Well anything? Um there was some guy down here. The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Haha. <laughs> okay, um... Well, Johnny's walking up to River, so let's talk to them. Anything new today? No. What are you reading there? Or rereading. Damper's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. Nostalgia? When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Wow, great wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was... One odd wedding present. See? I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, 
I just grab them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay. Have fun with that river. Um. Hello. And then suddenly there are a bunch of Johnnies. Uh, let me talk to you. And you go over there. Okay, uh, what about this Johnny? But what about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, do you know what animal David's main mor- uh, is David's main morph? Um... Crap, I, uh... I think I- uh, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but, uh, I'm not gonna submit- uh, I have to get It's a, um... Uh, uh, snake? I don't know, I haven't read any of the Animorphs books, so, uh, I don't actually know. Uh, sure, let's try Snake. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find out, it, find it out for ya. Okay. Uh, what about this Johnny? Does he have anything to say? I'm not yours, you're not mine, be my anti-Valentine. Okay. Hey, River, this one's not that corny! River? Um... Uh... Yeah... No. Um... <laughs> Let's talk to this Johnny, then. Tobias Hawk, Ra uh, Rachel Grizzly, Jake Tiger, Marco Gorilla, David Cobra... I was close! <laughs> Cassie Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just googled it. <laughs> uh, but I don't see an internet source anywhere in this library. Or at least I think this is a library. It's either a library or a bookstore. Probably a library. Oh, that's it? Um, okay. Besides, these two computers are occupied. Anyways, um, is that the memento, I think? Yep, that's the memento. I did not mean to start breaking a chest yet. I'm not done. Anyways. Hi. Yes, we know. I was close! I think I said snake last time too, and then and I found out it was a cobra, so I don't know. Oops. Um is there a way to backspace? Um shit. Uh Come on. Fine. I misclicked, okay? Uh. C. O. B. R. A. Okay. Oh, yeah, a cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Plain sheets? I think they're covers got torn off or something. Anyways, let's break this memento and go. Okay. And... Yay! Prepare! And... Hello! Um... Hold on. Let's try... This one... This one... I'm trying not to remove any of these. Uh... This one... Okay. This one, and then this one. Yay! And, um... Receive note, Animorphs. And, um, actually, I'm gonna 
go through this next time on Let's Play To the Moon. Also, I'm just gonna quickly scroll here. Johnny's favorite childhood books. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah. Next time on Let's Play To the Moon. Um, we will be going to go even deeper into Johnny's memories. Maybe even do his, um, young adult years. And, um, yeah. Subscribe, comment, like, follow me on Twitter, do that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.